I had Carly as the most, the most cringiest show I have ever watched. When I was a kid, yeah, I loved it. But when you hit fucking puberty, you realize, what the fuck am I watching? Fucking marvelous. This is already ruined for me. It, you got you got no Sam, you got no Gibby. Well, what's the point of making this show a reboot? This is this is gonna fucking bomb. It probably won't because, like I said, this show's got a, a giant fan base. So uh, I I, I really want to avoid this show, but I want really want to see how pissed off this is gonna, gonna get me. All you people on TV get fucking angry watching this. I, I can definitely tell. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, ass clowns. I'm here to do the stupid fucking review of this stupid fucking show. And of course, it's probably going to be a ranging commentary because... You know how reboots are. They destroy everything that you used to love when you were a kid. I know what I said in the original video in 2020. Yeah, I said what I said, but... Now you think about it, I think the original series was alright. To me. Now, this reboot is probably going to be really fucking terrible. It's going to really just be piss shit out of my ass of anger. I think this, this, this show is really going to fucking piss me off. I, I'm telling you right now. I'm not ready for this. I know you assholes are ready for this. You're ready to see me get me watching this fucking flip out. Or have a fucking heart attack or something. Oh, God. What? Why? Like, why are you guys to make me do this shit? Like, Miranda Cosgrove still looks the fucking same. Still got that Michael Jackson look, it seems like. Hee <laughs> hee! When it starts off, uh, fucking Carly was coming in the goddamn room and finding Spencer butt ass fucking naked with a fucking apron around his fucking testicles. Well, they didn't show his fucking dick and his testicles, but I I'm saying. <sighs> already, he's starting off stupid already. If you want me to just laugh at that, I'm not laughing at it. It's, it's just, this show's gonna fucking bomb. And fucking Carly's like, What? Well, well, my boyfriend's coming over. You can't be butt ass nigga around the house, Spence. Fucking Spence showing his ugly ass piece of shit uh, sculpture, like a, uh, I don't know what the fuck that is, a tangled penis. Then fucking Freddy's shitty fucking haircut comes in here with, with shitty hairline. Walks in the room and says, Did I miss anything? You know, sooner or later, these new shitty characters are going to come into the room sooner or later to make shitty jokes with an annoying stupid kid jumping up and down on a fucking couch. It's going to happen sooner or later. I'm just, I'm just waiting for it. Uh, this show reminds me of the Blues Brothers 2000 when there's no fucking... no John Belushi or fucking Cab Calloway in there. Said he got replacements like John Goodman and fucking the other guy, uh, jo Joe Morton from uh, Terminator 2. Goes... <laughs> Then she like mentions Sam and she says she has a new partner. Oh boy, here she comes. Oh fuck. Then fucking Carly tells Spence and Freddy to fuck off because her boyfriend's coming over. Jeez, I wonder who her boyfriend's gonna be. Probably some fucking loser, probably. Then she goes on this fucking camera and says, Hey guys, me, I'm back. I'm back doing iCarly videos again. And this fucking loser comes to the room. Her, I guess her her boyfriend. He got this fucking shaggy hair, like he's shaggy from Scooby Doo or something. He's like, what the fuck is this fucking guy? This Brussels sprout looking motherfucker. This guy is. This is the most dorkiest beta male guy she's with. I I, I, I just don't understand women why they date fucking beta males like this. Or just some fucking nerd with dorky ass hair and dorky ass fucking outfits and shit. Like this guy is not cool. This guy's acting is so shitty, though. What the fuck's with his acting? He's like a fucking a wooden fucking block, a wooden fucking block or a stick or a two by four, whatever the fuck you can call it. Well, I mean, Ryan Acosta acting is just okay, but at least it's better than that fucking guy. I'll tell you that, Mister uh, Plank himself. So live on Instagram, oh, I live on iCarly Instagram. See, he's like breaking up with her and shit like that. I'm like, why, why do you want to film this live in front of everybody about your breakup? What are you doing, Carly? Why do you want everyone to see you fucking break up with this fucking loser? This fucking nerd. Well, what? Why? And then they show fucking Freddy and Spence sneaking around or something. Like, what the fuck are they doing? They just got they got training from Solid Snake or something. 
So they roll their asses all over to the fucking camera and then they slap it on the ground. And like, yeah. And she said, oh no, a broken heart, a broken phone. That was not funny. That was really cheap and bullshit. That, was, that, was, that joke was cheap as a fucking cardboard, stale fucking cardboard c- cake. A, f- a shitty icing. Fucking Spencer was like, oh, I see it's a mutual thing. <laughs> the intro comes on. Well, it's the same song, but my problem is, this is the first episode, and they're spoiling everything. They're spoiling everything about the fucking show. This is this is a big-ass fucking spoiler. They're showing every scene from all these new episodes. Well, what are you doing? Isn't this the first episode of the reboot? Why are you showing all the spoiler episodes of the new episodes, you dumb fucks? Nah, I don't want to watch it anymore now. They're, they're spoiling every episode. Oh, I, was, I think it's the only episode I'm going to fucking watch because I, I don't think I can handle it anymore. Because, it, especially, you know, Dan Schneider's not there anymore because uh, he's a foot pedophile and he wasn't made the show good because he wrote funny shit. Ever since he's a put, foot pedophile, he can't be there anymore, so. And that's why, you know, Janet McCurry's not there anymore because of him. Gibby. Gibby's is just Gibby, you know. He he got Gibby things to do. But like I said, you cannot spoil the first episode with this fucking intro showing everything is going to be in the future. He, he, they didn't show how how cringy these episodes is going to be in the future anyways through this intro. It looks pretty fucking cringy. The way they act and shit is just no. But that black chick, oh good god, she's she's really going to be a big fucking issue. Nothing to do with her fucking race. I know you fucking idiots would say some stupid shit like that. Well, no. It has to do with her fucking comedy fucking shit. And I read I read it on, the, on the Google. She's a comedian. And that's even worse because most females are not funny. I don't like it. Like some females are funny. Like at least like 35% of them. Yeah, there's some females that make me laugh. But this chick, she's probably not going to make me fucking laugh. She's going to make me cringe to the, to the entire fucking episode probably. I'm telling you right now, when I'm looking through this intro right now, I can see how cringe she acts. Oh, good God. I, uh, she's going to ruin the show for me. I swear to God. She's really going to just piss me off. Especially that little fucking snot-nosed kid. Damn, and that, that made it worse. Why have a little kid in this fucking show? That's the that's big, big no-no right there that should have been there. And I'm fine with having a, a black chick in here, but a little fucking kid? That's worse. Yeah, and then like the, the intro ends. It does say it does say created by Dan Snyder. <laughs> they took his name off completely. <laughs> they took his name off completely. <laughs> it just says I Carly. It just say his name like that. Say created by Dan Snyder. They they took it off completely. They obliterate his name off the fucking show. You know he created a whole entire thing, but whatever. You know I guess because he's, he touches people's feet, he's a really disgusting pervert. So. Fuck it. Well, um, molests their feet. Alright, here we go. Now the black chick's in the episode now. Carly shows up to her fucking apartment. And she's saying stupid shit already. That'd make me cringe. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention. This episode was directed by Phil Lewis, who played the doorman on Sweet Life and Zach Cody. Which is a show I didn't really fuck with because I just didn't fuck with it. Because I never found it funny or anything like that. Somehow he's like directing this episode. <clears throat> Yeah, I heard he got like got in trouble for a couple of things in real life. The shit he did. But somehow he's drugging this episode, but whatever. You know? It's not, it's not like, you know, Dan Schneider, you know, molesting people's feet and shit, so I wanna like her eyes about to pop out of her head every time she talks. Like, keep your eyes in your head, lady. Why she keep doing that her eyes? Stop it. She has like fucking googly eyes, this black chick. This chick wanted to be like Queen Lativa so bad. Even though I don't find Clean Lativa that funny either, but I always watch Clean Lativa and watch this chick trying to be like Clean Lativa. And her character has no personality whatsoever. Like she's as bland as fuck. She has no no kind of characteristics to her character. This is what I mean by bad writing already. And then she makes a joke about Eugene Levy's something something. I don't know what I can't I can't understand what she's trying to say. It's just opera mints or whatever the fuck it is. She makes a joke about Eugene Levy. And fucking Carly is saying something about feminism and shit. I'm like, oh god. Well, why, why, why bring that word into this show? 
Uh, well, the whole part with Miss McGoogles was a terrible fucking scene without her. She is just not funny at all. It's just really terrible. Uh, I can tell this show is going to bomb. Oh, boy. This is what happens if you can't write a fucking character. Next scene, uh, Freddy shows up to Spence's party where all these fucking goons and nerds and beta males are at. You know, while fucking Freddy is me with his shitty fucking jokes, here comes the little snot-nosed kid. Oh, great. It's starting to get worse already. Make my fucking day worse already it is. Why do we need a fucking kid? Why? Why do we need a fucking kid in this show? We don't need a fucking kid in here. I probably never had a little fucking kid in this fucking show. And all of a sudden, fucking Freddy tell him why you recorded me, you little stupid little bitch. The fuck I told you about that shit. She's like, well, you, you adopted me, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Then it doesn't make you my dad and all that. The little bitch, how do you send your ass back to the fucking foster kid? Send your ass back, and I can get a Chinese kid instead. This motherfucker, he don't need to say shit back to her. This guy, I mean, Freddy's a pussy. He's been pussy since he's a fucking kid. He's been a pussy. He let some fucking kid talk shit to him, he don't do a goddamn thing. If I was that fucking parent, I would whip their ass. I don't play that shit. Like, you grind a little, little bastard. Go to your fucking room. God, I can't stand kids. But uh, next scene, fucking Carly and Laquisha comes in the room and talk about yogurt and shit. Speaking of yogurt, where, where's the slushy guy at? Uh, what's that? What's that Jamaican man name again? I forgot what his fucking name is. What the hell happened to that guy? Hopefully he shows up in this episode. Probably not. Not gonna show up like later on or something. Some other episodes. Then fucking Spence is talking to them. And fucking this black chick, uh, Miss McGoogles, keeps saying that, oh, we're half and half. We're black and white. And, oh, come on, man. Why do you keep bringing this diverse shit talking about all that? Oh, who gives a fuck what color you are? I'm tired of this shit. This is boring as piss. Do I keep watching this? Then in this fucking kiss, I'm being, I'm being a bitch again to Carly, talking shit to her and all that. You know, Carly talks shit back to her since she only has two subscribers on YouTube or something. But she's still being a little bitch, and Freddy's not even fucking doing anything about it. Because he's, he's a fucking clown, too. He's a fucking beta male pussy. I bet the nerd is too afraid to, like, ground here. He's probably too afraid. <laughs> Why do you even have a kid you came up around your own fucking adopted child, you fucking loser? And fucking uh, Spencer talking about his piece of shit sculpture but still looks like a piece of shit as he shows it when he opens turns the elevator on and ta-da look at this piece of shit look at this all covered in shit and ass and booty that's all it is it's just fucking junkyard garbage made by fucking fat Albert and the Cosby kids why people are fucking clapping to it it's shit and fucking uh, Aunt Jemima was like well oh, look like the same thing to me the same sculpture you made before Tell fucking Spencer about it. He's like, oh, what are you talking about, Laquisha? And once again, another one of Carly's fucking boyfriends come through the door. And he like a fucking... Another beta male, once again. And he's even a bigger beta male. He, he's a fucking Indian dork. Probably ask him, uh, you waiting for your girlfriend? I'm single. We have so much in common. You don't even know the fucking guy yet, you dumb bitch. How the fuck you know Michael Jackson? He he fucking Oh my fucking god. I'm so tired of the show. This show just showing she's a fucking slut. Her character is in the show. What the fuck they do to Carly? I mean, in the original show she did date, date a lot of guys, but she ain't act like this. Yeah, then next see she's talked about a couch, blah 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 blah. I feel like I watched a, a CW show or some st stupid Teen Wolf or something. Then it goes back to fucking, uh, fucking Lashana was talking to fucking Spence. I made a shitty joke that Spence thought he had a waiter at his house. Turns out some guy eating his food that if he was invited to his house. Shitty, another shitty joke. Cheap as fuck. And back to the fucking couch again with a stupid idiot guy. That's it. How about we go to the fucking part where, I don't know, where they usually do iCarly? You know, where they do all those random dance things and all that shit? How about that? How about all this fucking stupid drama teen bullshit all day? 
Fuck. This shit's really starting to fucking piss me off. This is the they only do this talk, 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 talk. There's none is nothing funny coming out of their mouth. They keep saying the stupidest shit ever. This is awful. How can I keep sitting and watching this shit? Nothing's funny about this shit. That they just sit here and talk all day and probably just fucks everybody. Why do I why do I care about seeing Michael Jackson fuck everybody? I don't care about that shit. I wanna see her go upstairs with fucking Lashana and they start doing fucking the random dancings and shit with her fucking googly ass eyes. Say so see people talk that's on the couch about who's who got a bigger cock and that dude guy probably got a two inch penis. Oh, then look at that! Freddy's mom shows up! Oh, what a surprise! I never cared I didn't fucking like at all! She's an annoying fucking bitch of a fucking cunt. I didn't fucking care about her either. Then she comes and just embarrass Freddy because Freddy's a fucking, that's it, like I said, a fucking beta male. And he never tells mom to actually, you know, fuck off. But he does it because he's a bitch. This shitty piece of shit hairline. Then the next scene, fucking... Carly and this, and this two-inch penis Indian guy are in these snuggles, or these snuggies fucking covers, you know, they're in their snuggy and fucking curry and curry chicken and curry noodles. He's like, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck? How is this I Carly when they're covered up in their fucking snuggies? Bad enough fucking Miranda Cosgrove's acting is the style of Tommy Wiseau. I guess he's sitting here, see you fuck these other guys up the ass with a dildo. It's over and over again. Because I don't fucking care. I want to see you do internet shit. Dancing around and do all these fucking wacky shit. That's what iCarly is about. Not all these fucking losers come through the door wanting to fuck her. I don't give a shit. Most of these guys are fucking beta male scrawny nerds. That's just pissing me off every time I look at them. And then they run out of the room because the other guy shows up. Said uh, the Indian guy is, is a curly haired headed fuck guy this time. Oh my fucking god. This is just like fucking Twilight with with uh, the, the vampire and the werewolf and they're fighting over this chick. Oh my god. Are we really gonna start this horse shit? It's gonna be like... Oh hi, Mike. So I decided to skip through all the lovey-dovey, kissy-boo-boo, sucking dick bullshit. It went to all the way to the finally they showed the part where they do iCarly skits. But... It's the one they already did before in the original series where, you know, Carly puts fucking cream over uh, Spence's ba baby Spence's face. While Spence plays a baby, they put fucking cream over his face. How about you just jizz all over his mouth while you're doing don't you? We want to fucking not be original whatsoever. Like this fucking reboot is a piece of shit. It's a fucking cum stain out my ass. I hate it. I don't want to watch this shit again. It's bad enough that fucking black chick is not funny at all with no characteristics and no personality whatsoever. All she does is fucking have her eyeballs pop out of her fucking head every time she talks. You got this stupid annoying fucking kid and just up and down and talks shit to Freddy and Freddy doesn't do the goddamn thing about it. Instead he just cry about it. Instead he sticks a dumb his ass and shits out of his mouth. And, and like, close your eyes where, uh, uh, well, so Carly will like smack in Spence's face with the, um, the cum stuff. Close your eyes. You heard a tapping sound. You know what that sounds like to you? Yeah, you dirty bastard. You know what that sounds like. The baby skit is what I'm talking about. And once again, <clears throat> one of his fucking sculptures catch on fire. Da ha ha, running gag. Da ha ha ha. Fuck this shit. I hate it. I never want to watch this shit again. I wish I could just pull my pants down and wipe my ass all over his fucking sculptures and just take a piss on it afterwards. Because most of this shit is actually worth for fucking uh, a bathroom. Or you could say a restroom, so... Yeah. Fucking sculptures. They all suck. But in conclusion, this show sucks cock. I hated it. It's the worst fucking thing of Reboot that came out this year. It's one of the worst things i ever seen this year. You got no Sam, you got no Gibby, you got this annoying black chick with no characteristics and no personality. Her character is really bland and boring, all that shit. She did nothing funny. She's the worst comedian female i ever seen. The worst part of the show was the whole romance scenes with Carly and these fucking loser beta males. Worst part of the fucking show, well, the worst part of the fucking episode, because it's really fucking pointless. 
it makes no fucking sense to even be in here in the first place. I get it, she's her character's older now, but this does not work for iCarly. Whoever wrote the show don't understand what iCarly is about and don't know how to actually write a show about iCarly. To write make it like a fucking CW show, a fucking teen drama nonsense. Instead, I'd make it something that's like a really funny comedy. Which no one don't understand what that even means anymore. It's all about stupid bullshit now. <sighs> why? Just why even do this? The best character is not even in the show anymore, and somehow you, you still want to continue even trying to make this reboot. Plus, there's no Dan Schneider anymore because, you know, the things he did in the past. He didn't want to actually made the show funny with his writing and stuff like that. Once you took him out of it, well, this is what happens. It's like removing the color from the show, and now the show is black and white. Think of that. Think of it as, as that. We remove Dan Schneider. We take Dan Schneider out of the show. Everything turns black and white. Even if they had Sam and Gibby in here, they're probably fuck it up with them too. They'd probably like destroy their character and make it like really dumb and boring. They won't even be the same. Because these fucking liberal college student kids don't know how to write a fucking show for shit. <sighs> Whatever, man. What's what fucking ever? I can't. I know. I knew this is gonna be fucking bad. I knew it. Remember the number one rule: never make new characters for a reboot. That's the number one thing you should never, ever, ever do. Where you're rebooting a show. And there's barely any iCarly webcam shit. What do you do with what's a, what's a crazy bullshit? There's barely any of that. Not and watch any more fucking episodes. Fuck that shit. I'm not watching no more episodes. They was cock teasing diddle in my ass the whole time with fucking not original bullshit skit. I definitely got cock teasing in my ass diddle. We don't get any iCarly webcam skits, but we get a scene where iCarly blow some guy's cock. Well, two guys' cocks instead. With an icing of lube. There's your iCarly webcam skit. Good old circus performance. With an annoying fucking kid just to piss you off through the whole episode. But to be fair, I don't hate the new actors. I don't hate them. I hate what they did to their characters. This show should be called I Boring, where nothing fucking happens whatsoever.